You're watching another Baron's Commentary. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Baron here, Aussie Gamer, Aussie Accent. Today we're playing some Battlefield 3 Operation Metro Rush. I think it's about 250% tickets, I'm not too sure, but as you can see, there are a lot. This is the second the second video to that uh, other Operation Metro game you watched. This is just the last bit of the game. This is about another 26 minutes, cut down to about 8 minutes and 35. The reason being is because there were a lot of death scenes and just a lot of scenes where I was running around defusing and just you know, getting the one kill and then dying. So I didn't really think there was, you know any real point of putting that in because it just looked boring and just be completely stupid so I thought I'd cut it down and you know edit it out for you guys and basically talk about teams today now what I want to talk about is have you ever gone into a game without friends you know people you know and you've like basically as you get into the game you're doing you know you think you're gonna do good but you get that team that just seem like they're a bunch of morons not a bunch of morons but complete knowledgeless idiots where you just run around you're trying to do some good for the team but they end up dying all the time and you never end up doing any good and the other team's just like a bunch of technicians at the friggin game where they just like beat the shit out and you just get anal raped pretty bad but I just don't want to I don't want to say that but basically you just get destroyed and the other team's beating you so bad and you know it feels like you've just gone to the I don't know the zoo and you've gotten a few baboons off the you know just out of the sanctuaries wherever their little cages and taking them home and giving them a controller each without learning anything and basically just got them into playing Battlefield or just Xbox or whatever you know and that's really annoying when you just get into a game and you want to do good but you end up getting put up with some stupid idiot who doesn't know what they're doing and at the same time you just you don't want to put up with it you just you want to have a good team you want to do good at the game you want to try and get some good points you want to try and get some good kills some good gameplay if you can but you never can end up doing it and I've had a few requests of people trying to you know they said you can join with in with us um well one person a couple of people actually saying you can join in with us whenever you want um you know get some gameplay or whatever and just have a good time and just you know try and do good just try and do good you know but that should work out good. It, luckily, it's on Xbox 360 because that is my preferred platform at the moment. I do play it on PC, but I don't do too good at the moment, which is a bit of a shame, but hopefully I will get there someday on PC. Not just yet, but sometime soon in the future because PC gaming, don't get me wrong, it's awesome, but it is hard to get a grip of once you've been you know, playing console for the last... I don't know more than more than ten years. I can tell you that it's been more than ten years or twelve years. I'm twenty next month, and yeah, I've been playing it for for quite a while. I've been playing since the like I've told you guys the Atari 2600. I can't remember the version or the model, but yeah, it was pretty back, far back to the Atari, and then the Sega. I had like five Segas and whatever. I, people call it Sega, I call it Sega, vice versa, potato, potato, whatever, <laughs> however you want to pronounce it, but basically, yeah, that's just what I wanted to say, just, that's how I feel about it, but having the teams of, like, baboons and the other team being, like, super friggin' Asian gamers, or just, I don't want to be racist, but, like, friggin' super gamers, just destroying the crap out of you, and you get, like, this crappy-ass team that, you know, can't even get the objective, or defend the team, or defend the objective, or whatever, and keep it, it's just, it really annoys me, you know, but it's, I like to get into a good team, and a good game, where it's all in good momentum, but if you join, like, a game halfway through, you're always going to get put on the bad side of the team, and, or bad side of the game, whatever, you're always going to get the leftovers from what's the good part, but hopefully, sometimes, when I join in with these guys that have offered for me to play with them, you know, have games with them, I will be doing a little bit better, try and do some tactical stuff and tactics and whatnot, because I am sick of losing, I'm not sick of losing, I'm just sick of getting bad teams all the time, I'm, I mean, sometimes I am the bad team, I'm, you know, the bad part of the team, but I'm always trying to keep up, you know, trying to keep my part of the game so that people will try and do good and I can try and keep the team going but a lot of the time it just doesn't work which is a bit of a shame and you know a bit of a lap down when you're trying to win a game and you're trying to do good you're trying to get your stats well not really stats but you're trying to have a good time but you can't have a good time because the team you're on isn't doing really good and you know you just get really angry like I do and then you just like whatever I'm over this you know go leave whatever and try and find another good game but then again you always find that bad game that really doesn't do any good for you except for bad and put more stress on you and pisses you off even more which I don't really want to talk about that while well, I do <laughs> but 
yeah, that's basically how I feel about 80% of the time when I get put into a game. But there are a lot of times when I get put into a good game, and it's like when you get into double XP. The double XP is good, but it's bad when you get like a bad team and they don't, you know, really do what they're supposed to do and what you want them to do, and that sucks, but, you know... You just got to keep looking for more games and, you know, keep going. But if you keep leaving games like I do, you always get that, the battle log feed and it doesn't really add good to your stats because, obviously, you've just left it and, you know, tried to get into another good game. But, you know, that's what a lot of people do and that's what I do and it actually gets really annoying. But, you know, you got to try and find a good game and you got to try and find that team or that squad that you can stick to and, you know, always do good with. But... I haven't found that squad yet, and hopefully these guys that have contacted me, it like it doesn't matter if they're good or not, as long as I have a good time, I have a good game, and you know, just do what I want to do, basically, and try and get some good video footage. But really, a lot of the time I don't record it because I just want to have a bit of fun. But I do record it if I think I'm going to do good. But if I don't, it doesn't really matter. It's just as long as I have a good time and have a good game and get a strategical um, squad members and whatnot, and. uh yeah, hopefully that all works out for me, and hopefully these guys are, you know, they're pumped to play and whatnot, which would be really awesome. Um, there have been a lot of people, you know, well, a couple of co people contacting me who want to play games, and to you, if you're listening right now, I'm sorry that I haven't contacted you back. I have been really busy with studies at the moment and a lot of other stuff, and I would love to contact you back and try and get in touch with you. Um, if you're still interested, I do play console, I do play Call of Duty, and uh, Sorry, Battlefield on console and P Xbox 360. Sorry to you who play PS3, and sorry to the people who play Call of Duty. But if you do play Call of Duty, I will play a bit of Zombies with you, because I do love me zombies. So, yeah, that's basically that, because um, I just wanted to really put that out there and tell you what I thought about how I, f you know, when I get into a game, how I feel, and, you know, basically how it feels to be put onto a bad team, but... Hopefully, I can get into a good team and try and do some good on Battlefield at the time. But, you know, I have been doing pretty bad lately. So, hopefully, I can do some good. Otherwise, it would just, you know, be like, Oh, God dang it. it I'm not doing good again. So, basically, that's what I wanted to talk to you about today, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed. Hopefully, I actually entertained you. If you like this video, give it a like and a comment and share it with your friends. Also, if you want to subscribe, please subscribe because that would be excellent for you guys to support me if you enjoy my videos. Um, but anyway, guys, have a good day. Aussie Gamer, Aussie Accent, and I will see you in the next chapter. Now! Shit.